Welcome to Italy. Today, we are in beautiful Venice at the stunning Cipriani Hotel to walk you through a very special cultural tradition, the aperitivo experience. I'm Maddalena Fossati from Condanas Traveler Italia and I'm a professional expert of aperitivo. These hours between the end of the workday and dinner are a time when Italians enjoy pre-dinner drinks and light snacks to unwind after a long day. Though it's widely recognized that modern aperitivo began in northern Italy, all roads lead to Rome when it comes to the roots of this tradition. Ancient Romans practiced gustatio, which was a bountiful first course served at the Roman banquet. This course could last for hours and allowed ample time for socializing. The origins of Italy's modern aperitivo culture are difficult to trace. Reports suggest that the invention of vermouth in 1786 by touring-based distiller Antonio Benedetto Carpano kicked off the tradition. With its new aromatic herbal flavors, vermouth quickly became a popular and affordable pre dinner drink in the region. After the success of vermouth, other Italian distillers were quick to create their own aperitifs, such as Martino Rossi and Campari, both created in northern Italy. This led to the development of herbaceous cocktails. We are in Bargabiano, one of the legendary spots in Venice for aperitivo. Let's see what the bartender recommends. Buongiorno, welcome to the bar. I'm Thomas and today I prepare for you the Bellini. The Bellini is a cocktail invented from Giuseppe Cipriani, the founder of the hotel. It's made with fresh white peach puree. The puree is homemade and made just in season and mixed with the Prosecco, our local wine. That's your Bellini. Enjoy your aperitif. Although we are sampling several drinks today, Italians find it a bit taboo to drink without eating. We'll try some snacks together very soon. It's very nice, your Bellini, no? The aperitif usually is made with uh, wine or uh, bitter because it stimulates the appetite for, uh, for a dinner. Some of these most popular bitters, Aperol and Campari, both native to Italy, are usually ordered in a spritz or a Negroni. Let's try an Aperol spritz next. We put some ice in a wine glass. We use the Aperol, our local bitter from Padova. Then we add some Prosecco, our local sparkling wine. And just a touch of soda. We stir and then a fresh orange and your upper spritz is ready. So the upper spritz is invented in Veneto. Originally uh, it's made just with uh, white wine and soda. Then uh, the local people add uh, the upper. We have to take another cocktail. So we use the Italian red vermouth from Carpano. Campari our bitter from Milano and a nice uh, Italian London dry gin produced in Tuscany. Stir well. This cocktail, the Negroni, is my favorite. Fresh orange and your Negroni is ready. Reminder that we are just sampling today. Italians usually have one, maybe two drinks during aperitivo. You don't want to overdo it. If you are not a fan of cocktails, feel free to order a glass of wine, vino, beer, birra, or a non-alcoholic beverage, an alcoholico. Now that you have your drink, come with me outside for some cicchetti. Andiamo! Chin. Actually, we can say chin, chin chin, salute. We have different ways of saying the same thing. Chin is more casual, chin chin, it's okay. Salute, it's very classic. Maybe with your grandpa and your grandma, you say salute instead, you know. Because aperitivo drinks are typically bitter and carbonated, they pair perfectly with salty snacks, which come complimentary with your beverage order. Here I have some cicchetti. It's a typical name for finger food in Venice. You know, in Venice, you walk a lot. There are no cars. It's everything on the water. So you were walking around and you had a little bite around the city. This is one of them, mozzarella in carrozza, that in English we can say fried mozzarella, I would say. Yes. And then we have bacala, cod. We can have sardine sour, that is like a sugary and salted fish. Very, very nice. 
the aperitivo time is a moment of relax. It's not just a moment where you want to just drink. For example, mozzarella in carrozza. It's very, very yummy. It's something that you have since your childhood, and it's very nice to have a small amount. Otherwise, how can we have dinner? La cena. It's so common, the apericena, or of course, aperitivo buffet, with larger fare for additional fee. This is for Italians who choose to forego dinner and make this their meal. We call it aperitivo rinforzato even, where you eat a lot and you drink. But the real thing is to eat not too much food and not to drink too much. So one, two glasses, no more than that. Aperitivo start from six. Five is more for tea or late coffee. And it's very important when we have aperitivo to enjoy the moment and to enjoy the food, enjoy where we are and the people we are with, you know? Did you try this? It's really good. Aperitivo is a cultural tradition meant to be enjoyed by everyone. Prices can change, of course, and this is a high-end experience, but expect to pay around eight to 10 euros for your aperitivo in general. Thank you so much, have a nice day. Tipping in Italy, I mean, it's not a must. You don't have to, but it's nice too. 5% of the, the bill is perfect, but just if you like, and if you like the service. Participating in this tradition is a great way to experience the culture, socialize and unwind. Much like this country's other forms of gastronomic excellence, Italians have turned aperitivo into a form of art.